So the true mind is something I cannot tell you. I can only say what is not. What is not the true mind? It's not, you know, this body, it's not our feelings, it's not our consciousness, it's not our thoughts. But when you actually experience the true mind, you can know it. Is the true mind the same as Buddha nature? Yes. Okay. Right. What about if you experience compassion for someone and love for someone? Is that part of the true mind? Can be. Not all love and empathy comes from the true mind. Because actually a lot of times our love and our, our empathy... There's attachments, huh? Yes. There's a huge amount of self in it. Um, you know, a lot of that is a matter of give and take. It's c conditioned. So, that's something to be aware of. If that requires somebody who is very observant of their thoughts, of their feelings. But if you're too perfectionist on yourself, you're never going to let yourself feel anything. If you're always like, like, I can't feel love because I might be attachment. I better not feel that love, you know? Oh, wait a second. One day, this... Uh, a uh, seasoned meditator got the news that his son passed away. This is a son that he had before he became a monk. And the students thought that, well, you know, here's a seasoned meditator. He's seen all kinds of different mind states and, you know, he knows what inner peace is like. So when he hears this news, he must just be kind of, uh, you know, Blase or you know non-reactive, um, but when they told the news to the seasoned meditator, he bawled his head off. He just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. Then, after he sobbed, he came to back to his calmness, and the students asked him. Why did you react that way? Aren't you supposed to be a great meditator? How can you cry because when you you know hear about your son? And he says, that's the way that I let my feelings come and I let them fully you know, express themselves and then I let it go. Then that's it. So, the way that we think about thoughts, feelings, sensations, we're not trying to stop them. We're not trying to, you know, put a cover over them. Like suppress them. Yes, exactly. But, you know, you notice that when we were meditating, when we were talking about observing the sensations, we never ever said, we want to push away those sensations. That's not what we want to do. When it comes to feelings, when you said you felt agitated, I never said to resist the agitation. Right. I said befriend it. Right. Let it come and let it go. Because when you actually try to get rid of it, that's when it becomes stronger. But that's our tendency. Our tendency is to fight or flight. My tendency is to either fight it. My tendency is to fight my thoughts or distract myself. Mm -hmm. By watching TV or something like that. Right, that's flight. Where that's a form of escape. Yeah. Yes. That's everybody's tendency. It's a very natural habit that all of us have. So it takes a lot of practice and a lot of awareness to do that. And that type of self awareness, yes, it to become vigilant at it all the time. It requires a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work, and sometimes it does get dry. And that's where, um, for me, for example, when I did meditation for a number of years, I did feel like, you know, it became a bit dry for me. So that's where the uh, rituals and the chanting uh, became very moisturizing, like right. nourishment right. for me and my mind. So it requires an amount of balance, but it's always excellent to be very vigilant and self-aware um, at all times because that's when we really develop that kind you know, of 
after a while, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think, okay, now I'm going to practice awareness. But it just comes naturally. So being aware isn't necessarily when you're suppressing your emotions or judging them. It just means you're aware of them. Exactly. Guests that come through. Guests that come, you offer them tea, you offer, offer them coffee, then they leave. It's sounds, or we could say, you know, sensations, feelings, thoughts. All these things only come temporarily. If we don't resist it, and we don't try to control it, but we simply watch it.